Hello everyone, it's Jessica from Mrs. Stanford's class.blogspot.com here today to show you my first grade Common Core math file organizer. Let me just tell you that last week I went to a Marzano training. My school has been teaching Common Core standards and assessing using our standards-based report cards for the past two years, but this is the first year that we actually created Marzano scales to be the same for all schools. That being said, I was thinking in this meeting as I'm creating these scales that there had to be an easier way to organize all of my assessments and products that I've bought or created um, on Teachers Pay Teachers. As I was sitting there, my mind was kind of going crazy. Um, I'm a very organized person and I knew there was an easier way than the way that I had set up on my computer. So that being said, this is what I came up with. Um, this is available for free on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. You'll just search first grade Common Core Math File Organizer. Hopefully within the next week I will also have one for ELA. What you're going to do is you're just going to click the download now button. As long as you have an account it's going to directly download it. It's free. Once it goes into your downloads, um, you can save that onto your desktop. And what it is, um, let me say, there are absolutely no files inside these folders. I've created folders that are set up for the Common Core standards with Common Core codes and the actual standard written under them. So it's easier for you to search for your actual files. So once you've gone through your files and organized them, into each file folder, you'll be able to search them a lot easier. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If you look at the Common Core standards under mathematics, there are four domains. So those are the four domains that you're going to find here. Under each domain, they have different tiers. So I clicked on numbers and operations. So if you see under numbers and operations in base 10 blocks, you're going to have four or three tiers, sorry. One, extend the counting sequence. Two, understand place value. And three, use place value, understanding and properties of operations to add and subtract. So I labeled these just because I wanted them to stay in the order that they are actually in. I put an A before this one, a B before this one, and a C before this one. And actually, in the Common Core codes, they have already done that. They've put an A here. A B here for the secondaries, B, and the last one they've put C's. Uh, I know a lot of you do not do your coding that way, but I've just used it that way because it is the way that the Common Core state standard codes are written, and that is the way that our standards-based report cards are written. So I wanted it all to be cohesive. So that being said, if you come back to these, I have the three tiers. And then underneath them, if you click into them, you'll see the file folders with the Common Core code and standard. Some of the standards I did have to summarize a little bit just because they were so long. But usually if I had to summarize them, I just cut, cut out the examples. So you would see that. Let's see. Let's find a better one. Like right here. It says example, yada, yada, yada. Um, I figure if you're working with Common Core codes, you, you're all, already going to know what those examples are. If not, um, you guys can always feel free, I'm living on this website, to go over to the website and check out those examples that I had to cut out just for space reasons. Um, the nice thing about this is once you have this file open, you can search whether you're on a PC or Mac. You can search, maybe I'm doing a lesson or I have a little kiddo that's struggling in time. I just type in time and I want to search in that direct file. It's going to bring me up the standards code and my standard, tell and write time in hours and half hours using analog and digital clocks. So it's not only going to give me the file that I've put all of those products in, but it's also going to give me the standard, just in case I needed um, that for my report cards or something. 
So I would click in there and then I would find all of the files that I've organized in there. Summer's a great time to organize, so that's why I felt like this was the perfect time to put this on my store. One last thing before I finish, I wanted to show you something else that I probably learned my second or third year of teaching. Now I look back and I'm like, oh my goodness, I was crazy for not knowing this, but I don't know how it slipped past me. So I'm hoping maybe I can help some of you out with this. Um, Pinterest is an amazing tool right now. So this would be a great example for me to show. I never realized uh, years ago that you could take, I've already searched telling time and I found a really cute activity from firstgradewow.blogspot.com. I found that you can click this little icon and just drag it into this file. So I know Pinterest organizes all of our files, but sometimes I hate going back into my Pinterest boards and trying to find something that I needed for a specific standard. So now, when I'm in this file and I search time, it's going to bring me that folder. I open it up and now if I click on that, it's going to bring me straight to that pin and then I can click on that when it's time for me to teach this lesson and I can go to her amazing website and see how Nancy did it so if you have any questions or concerns about my first grade common core math file organizer just send me an email to jessica.stanford at me.com thanks and I hope you love your download